Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an inspirational image out of your photos. Now you can add any quote or saying that you want, and it gives your photo a nice poster looking effect. This kind of image is popular on sites like Tumblr, and uh, sometimes it can get cheesy, but I'm sure you can learn something from this tutorial. So, to begin, I'm going to get a photo that you want to turn into an inspirational image and the first thing you want to do is add a vignette so we want to go to filter lens correction here and it'll pop up this little menu at which point you click the custom tab and then the third box down should say vignette drag the first slider all the way to darken and then drag the midpoint to about plus 25 here. Now we're going to do that one more time, but go over to Filter, Lens Correction again. Go ahead and click the Custom tab again, but this time darken the photo all the way, but turn the midpoint all the way up. So what that does is creates a little soft vignette and then a more harsh one at the edge which really focuses in on the center of the image where we're gonna place the quote so one more step we're gonna do to uh, kind of put the image in the background and bring the quote in the front is add a little bit of desaturation so go over to layer new adjustment layer black and white now at this point you could just leave it like this but what I like to do is just click on the layer mask and then go to image apply image and just select OK and what that does is kinda desaturates any of the highlights and leaves the darker colors a little to let them it lets the darker colors come out a little bit more so as you can see like the whites of the t-shirt get completely desaturated whereas the dark reds are still kind of there which is a cool little different twist on desaturation so after we do that we can go ahead and begin to add the quote so grab your typo tool typography tool here and you can really use any font you want I'm gonna go ahead and use Gil Sans Shadow MT Pro this really works with any font, like Arial works good, but it's up to your choice. Uh, you can find fonts at websites like dafont.com, uh, lots of free font websites. And you want to use a size that's fairly big so that it's the focus of your image. So I'm going to write a quote here that says, take a stand. And I'm going to use all caps. Well, okay, so I'm going to write take A on one layer. And at this point, I can even hit Command T, hold Shift to constrain proportions, and make it a bit bigger. Now, the biggest thing about this is you want to create an interesting placement. So, uh, like, you can see his legs are going through the middle of this. So it's kind of like a cool visual focus there. I can't teach you about good typography because you could talk about that for hours, but it's just something that you learn over time and you got to use your eyes. So the next thing I'm going to do is write stand and I'm going to hit command T, which is also edit transform if you don't want to use a shortcut. And I'm going to try to line up the end of the D with the end of the A and the end of the S with the beginning of the T here. There's a few things you can do with the Photoshop type tool to make your text a little bit more tight. So if you just double click this it'll highlight it and then you click this tool here which will bring up a character and paragraph toggle menu 
So we can adjust the tracking in between each letter so that they're a little more close together. So this right here is the tracking and I'm going to set it to negative 60. Uh, actually, I don't like how the S and the T are, are a bit too close together. So I'm going to set this to negative 50. Alright, so what that does is makes the stand a little more bold than the take A. And then I'm going to adjust the size a little bit more. So I'm happy with that. You could adjust things for hours and use rulers if you want, but I just like just using my eyes. So now I'm going to grab this and hold shift and select both layers and then reposition it exactly where I want. And at this point, you can change the color of the text. So let's say I can double click this click on my primary color and let's say I wanted to make it like a light blue like this guy's shirt here uh, something a little bit lighter and let's say I also wanted to set that to overlay like you can do a lot of cool things or linear light I think linear light looks good and let's set take a uh, you can't really see it like that so let's set this also to linear light and make it the same color blue here uh, another cool little trick you can do is I'm going to hold shift duplicate my text layers right click rasterize them merge them together and then just hit my down arrow and my right arrow a couple times which moves them a little bit further on their own and then I'm going to lower the opacity to about 30 percent to create a, like, a little visual movement there and I'd say that's the final result right there so pretty much you can say or add whatever type of writing you want you can get really detailed with the typography like I could add uh, a nice smaller text here to balance out the weight and you know maybe some little details here but overall good typography will make this a good image so here's how to take your original photo and turn it into an inspirational photo thanks for watching justice good here and I'll see you next time